for Laura's eye. As you can see, it's giant and red and puffy. Oh, sweet girl. Okay, where does it hurt? Uh, mostly on this side, not as much on this side. We're gonna call in and see what the doctor says, okay? okay. This morning, Laura comes into our bedroom and her eye is giant and red. And my mind just starts racing. I mean, here we are in Austria. I have no idea what to do with her eye. I don't wanna overreact to it, but I don't wanna underreact to it. And then I remembered Global Rescue. This is why we have Global Rescue, so that I don't have to stress about it and my kids can get the care that they need. I was so relieved and excited to hear about Global Rescue that we reached out to them and we are happy to share all this information with you guys. In case of any medical emergency, anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we know who we can reach out to and they will tell us where to go to get the appropriate medical care that we need. If that's not available in our area, they will help us evacuate to where we can get proper medical attention. And they're also there to support us in case of natural disasters, civil unrest, things like a pandemic, any of those kinds of emergencies, they're there to step in and help us. So we're reaching out to them this morning and we're gonna get Laura's eye situation all sorted out. I was grateful. We're getting really used to having to wait for places in the United States to wake up when we need to reach out for help about something. And Global Rescue is 24 hour service. No, I don't see a definite spot that would be a bug bite. She does not have any allergies that we know of. So they recommended putting a warm compress on her eye, which is smart. How's that feel? Better. Does it feel good? Mm hmm. We're sending in some pictures to the doctor. She decided to cozy up. Rest for a minute. Well, I just got a call back from Global Rescue and they were able to set up the details for an online consultation. We could also do a walk-in here locally if we wanted. They reached out to some of the clinics here, but it sounds easier to just talk to someone online. Something's going on with that oh. eye. Okay. Well, that appointment was really easy to navigate. Um, the doctor was really nice and asked really good questions. She was able to see what was going on with Laura's eye, and she said it's some sort of eyelid infection. She said a specific name. I don't remember it, and I probably couldn't pronounce it anyway. Um, she's giving us a prescription for either an ointment or an eye drop. She said that she's gonna have to look and see which one's available in Austria at our local pharmacy. And so we'll just go pick that up. We're supposed to do warm compresses four times a day and also slightly massage because like the ducts around the eye need to be kind of opened up. Anyway, she told us what other signs to look for that we would need to go in and seek further treatment. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. She said it will clear up slowly over the next few days, so not to be alarmed when it doesn't go away right away. So I just feel so grateful. Lori's gonna be feeling better soon. So we're supposed to put it on there for five or 10 minutes and then you're gonna massage it. Oh. Well, good thing we know what we have to do now. Yeah. And we know we have someone to go to if it gets worse. Yeah. So in my eyes, all my eyelid. It goes right on the edge. And it's safe to get in your eye. How's that feel? Interesting. Good morning. Good morning. How does your eye feel today? Way better. Yesterday I woke up it woke up with it feeling like a bruise. This morning I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, so it's still red, but the swelling has gone way down. Which means I can open my eyes wider. There we go. So it's on the mend.